welcome back to my channel this is luna over here i am a real estate agent here in philadelphia so in today's video we are going to talk about has having a youtube channel helping me grow my business so a few days ago i received a dm from a fellow agent and he wanted to know if it's worth the time and effort to start his youtube channel so he asked me if it has worked out for my business and the answer is yes in this video i am going to answer a few questions that i commonly get at the end of the video i'm going to give you guys how i got three transactions uh, by having my youtube channel so let's get into the video question that I always get in regards to my YouTube channel is what do I use to film my video so when I first started my camera is a Canon DSLR um, by no means you guys need to get a DSLR it's very heavy it doesn't really it's not very practical and it's very expensive so what I upgrade to right now is a Canon G7X and this is the camera that I am currently using. I also use my iPhone for B-roll. So recommendation for new agents, if you just started your YouTube channel, I would definitely recommend just use a iPhone. It should work out just fine. Just make sure when you're using it, you're using the back camera instead of using the front camera. The second question I have is like, what lightings and equipment do I have? So currently I am in my living room and um, at my house, I have two studio lights, which I will send a picture and then also a tripod. So in my office, I have a set of ring light and just a small tripod that I put on my desk. The third question that I always get is how do I edit my video? So when I first started editing my video, I use a iMovie. Um, it's very easy, beginner friendly. I so use that to add all my videos. A lot of time it's a lot easier to edit because with real estate, most likely it's just a sit down you point and shoot talk to the camera so it's a lot easier for you to edit but right now i incorporate a lot of vlogs so in b-roll so i upgrade um the editing tool from imovie to final cut pro and i believe it cost me 200 dollars. i had a student disc and then last but not least is how do i come up with content like what do i decide to film each day so when it comes to this question i always think of what do i want to target who are my audience so on my channel i specific target two groups of people one is you know real estate agent because i want to get referrals from agents all over the country and the second audience for me is either buyers or sellers who are in philadelphia so when it comes to the first group of people i always target new real estate agent free real estate agent tips real estate coaching um and then for the second sets of group of people i target the keyword philadelphia philly philly real estate philly real estate agent so these keywords um when you edit a video you up upload your videos it really helps me when people are using youtube as a search engine so it rank up my videos higher and every time when people are searching for a real estate agent here in philly my video will pop out let's get into how many transactions i have closed by having a youtube channel uh, so far and the answer is three transactions so i've had my channel about more than two years now i uploaded the first video right after i took my real estate exam and i just share my tips of how i passed my real estate exam and then after that i started documenting my journey i just go along with you know the topic that i can think of so it has been two years i remember the first time i received a like someone contacted me with a seller lead she was searching on google about chinese real estate agent in philadelphia she had heard from her neighbor that they sold their house to a chinese 
buyer so she was you know wanting to get a help from you know a, a real estate agent here in philadelphia that speaks chinese so that's how she found my contact and i closed on that seller deal and the second deal that i've closed is back in the summer before the summer i had a buyer deal uh, they bought a new construction right around three hundred thousand, and the agent who found me was an agent from tennessee so she, her background is she speaks Chinese and the buyer itself is Asian. They have an Asian culture. So they wanted to choose an agent that speaks the language and also know Philadelphia very well. So that's how she found me on my channel on YouTube. And lastly, last but not least is a for sale by owner deal that I have talked about in my channel before. Um, the seller, I spoken to her yeah, I was one of the few agents that you know got her contact. I sent her my business card through texting message and she looked me up online when she typed in my name my channel popped out so she watched all my videos and she felt like that she can trust me a little bit more with all the things that I posted online it's more accountable so when I went to meet her at the house I got the listing very quickly and it was very easy so these are the three um, clo uh, close transactions that I got through having a YouTube channel. And I just want you guys to know it does take a lot of time. It might not work right away. So having a channel, it is a lot of work. Um, just be very patient. It, de it definitely is working because it worked out for me. So if you have any other questions, please make sure to leave a comment down below. This is Luna over here. I will see you guys in the next one.